Hey everyone, Tactics here, and in this video I'm going to be going over some of the changes we've seen to the 9.1.5 PTR over the past couple of weeks, and there are some really, really cool things, not only affix nerfs, but also the return of, of something people have been asking for, and that is the Mage Tower. So confirmed now officially by Blizzard, the Mage Tower is going to make a return. Though instead of the old artifact weapon rewards, what we're getting is a recolored uh, tier 20 set for all of the different classes. So one per class here. Uh, pretty, pretty cool looking set. I'll link this below if you guys want to take a look at it. It has all the sets in here. But also, notably, they are adding in kind of a fell werebear kind of skin. I, I think it's pretty cool looking. I know a few people uh, don't really like how it looks at all. But um, overall, I think this is a great way for players that weren't around in legion to get their hands on this unique skin here honestly i wouldn't have been upset if all of the old artifact skins became available but you know maybe that's an opinion that's a that's a bit of a hot take i know a lot of people like the fact that it was kind of unique and you had to be around at the time but uh i i wouldn't be too upset if it they brought it back uh for other players that weren't around at the time to get but uh this is what we're getting tier 20 sets recolors for all of them I like how a bunch of these look. I know I, when these were out, I did them all in my Druid on all four specs, and I think like Windwalker and and Frost DK. But aside from that, I didn't do it on any other classes or specs. So I kind of like the the Tony the Tiger look going on here too. Not many not many bright orange sets out in the game. So that's what we're getting. Return of the Mage Tower You're going to be scaled down to uh, kind of uniform scaling there. So. My guess is the difficulty is going to be a little bit lower than it was back when they first released, but maybe a little harder uh, than if you were doing it at the end of Legion. Also to note, if you do all of them, uh, the Soaring Spell Tome mount. So if you do all seven of the scenarios, you will get the Soaring Spell Tome, which I believe is one of the mounts that was voted on but didn't win when we got the, the Wandering Ancient Tree, tree Boy mount. Uh, so... It is making a bit of a return there. So if you do all seven, you will get that one. And this, again, is only going to be available, I believe, during Legion time walking. So two weeks the first time it comes out and one week whenever it's up from there on. But yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm, I'm going to be definitely playing a bunch of different characters and getting this done. Uh, now let's get into the affix nerf. So to start, Necrotic. Straight up a three second duration nerf. Um, that is the nerf to it, so it's going to make this a whole lot easier to deal with on boss fights. It already was not too difficult on boss fights. You would usually get it to drop eventually by not doing too much. That's uh, going to make it even more consistent now that you'll drop necrotic stacks pretty often on boss fights. You probably won't ever get stacked up very high at all. Um, for trash packs, it's just going to mean that you're going to need to kite less often. Uh, of course, the bigger trash packs, you'll also still have to kite for like the whole six second duration because you'll probably get ticked right as you're going out but for the smaller trash packs you may only need to kite for like a couple seconds maybe like in the duration of like a ring of peace or like a typhoon knock away you like take a step back and like that's all you really need to do for kiting so it'll certainly make it a lot easier to deal with it's still honestly i still honestly just hate necrotic man i i think the affix should be removed and, and replaced entirely but uh that's, that's probably more of a 10.0 uh, thing than a 9.1.5 thing, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, bolstering and Raging also got nerfed. So, Bolstering is now temporary, so similar to that power that you can get for Bolstering. It now only lasts 20 seconds, so you can, if you just Gigabolts or something, just kind of CC it and wait it out. Um, the other thing, Raging nerf, it just hit another 25% damage nerf, so if you... Uh, don't remember, in 9.0, this was 100% damage. They nerfed it to 75% damage in 9.1, and they are nerfing it again to 50% increased damage in 9.1.5. So, in Raging Mobs, always doing a ton of damage, especially with the return of Raging Fortified, and I think after seeing that, they've decided to uh, bring it down a notch there. Uh, before we get into the actual patch notes, there was a neat little change I wanted to say about... Uh, KT, so Mythic KT, if you're unaware, basically what happens right now is, is people basically just kind of hard AFK that fight uh, and kill the boss at a certain time so that they can delay the fight as much as possible. They even delay inside the phylactery, right? You you, keep, you extend that phylactery phase as long as possible. People outside are normally kind of like waiting on the ads a little bit. 
uh, just so you can recover all of your three minute CDs so you can uh, do the next phylactery phase uh, in time with, you know, normally it's Boomkin CDs. And so you can stack all of your personal defensives and healing CDs to destroy all of the icicles at once. So that's uh, hopefully is a fix to that. Um, they did change it to say major cooldown, so we were hoping it's it's going to still bring back those CDs, so people will not just stop DPS for a minute plus at a time, but uh, we'll see how that actually ends up getting implemented. Now, in terms of the actual notes for this week, um, basically last week uh, all of the target uh, soft target capping was in at five targets, but they've announced that uh, abilities that were previously eight target capped are going to still be eight target caps so they added some in here like frozen orb um like the shuriken storm black powder blade storm all those things there's still going to be eight soft target caps so full damage up to eight targets and reduced damage after it uh but the notable thing today uh is spinning crane kick is now on this list so spinning crane kick got reduced to five targets from six so a little bit of a nerf in that sense um but then the stacks uh, here they are. So previously, monks would gain a 15% damage buff for each unique target they struck uh, with Blackout Kick on their Spinning Crane Kick. They reduced this to 5 targets to match the target cap on it, but they increased it to 18%, so there's no real change there. Um, the difference now, though, is uh, Spinning Crane Kick is now just hitting everything, and that, that ability is wild right now. Uh, it's I, I think this is foreshadowing a nerf to either... Both the ability, but at minimum, Dance of Chi-Gi, the talent. Because that, this is going to make that absolutely insane in Mythic Plus. So there has to be some kind of other nerf coming. Because the um, the, the reduction for making it reduce after 6, or making it reduce after 5 instead of 6, is going to be a nerf at like exactly 6 targets, right? As soon as you're above 6 targets, it's a buff again. Uh, and you you stack up your thing easier, your uh, your damage increase easier. So, uh, I <laughs> I I'm expecting there to be a nerf to this ability. I expect this is only part of what they're doing to spinning crane kick because if this is all they're doing, that's a that's that's a little crazy that that they're basically just buffing spinning crane kick in its current state. But yeah, I, I expect it to see a nerf either in the next week before 9.1.5 release. There there should be some nerfs to to spinning crane kick in particular. Where that be in the actual base damage or in the talent dance of GG. That is it uh, for this week's changes in the 9.1.5 PTR. Overall, some really good stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check me out over on my Twitch at Tactics, where I stream high keys and mythic rating from a Guardian Druid to POV. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.